Hi guys, and welcome to another video. I'm super excited for this video because our wisdom panel came in. So I am excited. Um, hush, please. We're making a video. So our kit came in for wisdom panel. Now we were told that Juno is a purebred German Shepherd. I did see her parents. I saw another puppy from her litter, but I would still like to know for sure. <laughs> and so we are gonna do one of these. I did go with wisdom panel instead of embark because mainly it was just cheaper <laughs> and I didn't want to spend you know, 180 plus dollars on it. Though they do, I guess, have a new one that just does breeds and no health for like 120 or 30 or something like that. But I went with Wisdom Panel instead. And what's cool is you just slide the cover off here. And then you have your box that you ship the sample back in. So that's awesome. So if I open it up here, it looks like it comes with two swabs and you roll the bristles between the cheek and the gums for about 15 seconds, then you let the swabs dry out and then create your account and then ship them back. I believe it's gonna take probably about a month or more to get these back, um, but that is okay. So you see here, it's got all of your directions, your two swabs here. Seems pretty easy. I don't think we're gonna mess it up. <laughs> Hopefully not, but uh, let's give it a shot. Okay, so basically you peel back the swab sleeve about two inches and you save the sleeve for later. So we're gonna pull it back here. Obtain cheek cells by firmly rolling bristles between cheek and gums for about 15 seconds. So we're gonna do the first one here. Hey. Okay, so we've done both of those and now we let them dry out. Okay, so now we've got the swabs in their little drying situation here. Now it doesn't really tell you how long to let them dry for, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to activate our test and then we'll figure all the rest of it out. Okay, so clearly a little bit of a plot twist here. <laughs> I opted to get the Embark test. Um, it's been a decent amount of time between the Wisdom Panel clips and this clip, and that's just because I really wasn't happy with the quality and the overall clarity of the Wisdom Panel test. I just didn't think it was that great. Um, and Embark's supposed to be the best, so already this is just nicer. The quality's better, the breakdown's better, and I haven't even sent in her results yet, obviously this is the, the swab. But the online portion is already so nice, and I haven't even submitted anything yet. Like, this is going to be so much easier to understand than Wisdom Panel, and like, it's just, you're going to get more information, I think, at least from what I've heard. So. We shall see. I'm going to swab her and get these mailed in and hopefully we will get the results back pretty quick. Okay, so already definitely different than Wisdom Panel. Uh, Wisdom Panel had two swabs and then just a pouch you put them in and this one is one swab but it has like this liquid in it that's supposed to I think secure the sample a little bit better. So interesting. Okay, so her Embark swab is done. I flipped it around, put it in the liquid, shook it 10 times, and then put it into the little plastic baggie that they provided. And now it will go into this mailer package and go off to Embark. So first I wanted to break down Juno's wisdom panel results. Um, and this screen basically you're seeing her breed by percentage. So They've broken it up by saying she's 75% German Shepherd and 25% who knows what. So they don't really have an idea of what she is. They just think she could be 
25% any one of these breed groups, which is one of the reasons I said that I didn't like that it felt really unclear. It just doesn't really feel like they have a good grasp or they didn't like look at enough information or compare it to enough or other DNA samples. I don't know. It just seems really unclear. So this is just the family tree version of the pie chart that Wisdom Panel does. You're basically just seeing the same information broken down differently. So for her, since it's just 25% random breed group, you're not going to really have any information on that side. So you're seeing her being 75% German Shepherd, 25% random breed group. Um, they're basically saying that one of her parents was full German Shepherd, one was not, and then got bred back into a German Shepherd. And then the next two screens are basically just the four uh, breed groups they think that she could be part of. Uh, the first one being herding group, which the German Shepherd falls under that uh, breed category. So that obviously makes sense. But then the next two are a little odd, like companion group doesn't make a whole lot of sense and some of the other ones like sporting group maybe but Asian <laughs> like Asian group a little bit odd so it's just a little unclear like I said before another reason why I wasn't really a big fan of um, the results we got from wisdom panel Juno's embark results are in and she came back as a purebred 100% German Shepherd, as I thought she was, and apparently what Wisdom Panel did not think she was. <laughs> but I will say already, just the entire process of Embark has been fantastic. They sent me emails every time the swab moved at all through the process. So from when they got it, to when it went to the lab, to when it went to the other lab, to when it did everything, I got an email about it. And the results, in my opinion, came back pretty quickly. I think I got them in about three weeks after we um, they got the swab, so I thought that was pretty great. But as you can see, whether you're looking at their site on a computer or on a cell phone, it's just so much better. Um, you can see all the little tabs you can look through and read information on, and so let's get into some of that. This is Juno's family tree. Pretty simple when you have a purebred dog, but um, what I really liked about Embark is that, especially when you're looking at it on a phone, you can actually toggle between each one of the parents and kind of get um, see just that portion of the family tree, which I thought was pretty neat. One of my favorite things that Embark does is they do uh, DNA relatives. So they show you dogs that have uh, very similar, you know, or close to similar DNA to your dog. So you can see the first two listed here are her closest. Um, they're referring to them, they consider them close family at 43% and 42%, so almost half. So that's pretty cool. And then there's a lot more too. Um, a lot of other dogs listed that share DNA with her as well. You'll also see on this screen that both the health and the traits section are grayed out. That is because I did not buy the full version of Embark. I just bought the breed. But if you buy the full version that also does the health testing and stuff like that, you will be able to view those two tabs. Also, you can upgrade your kit at any time. So like if in a little while I decide I do want to have them check those two. They will use her sample that she already has on file and test for those things. And then I'll be able to access both the health and the traits feature. So I would say overall, Embark is significantly better. Um, I think this is one of those things that you get what you pay for. And while Embark is more expensive, the overall process and the information that you get and the quality of the testing, I think is just significantly better than Wisdom Panel. So I would say if you really, really want to know, especially if you've got a mixed breed dog, um, I would definitely recommend Embark. You're going to get significantly more information and I think more accurate breed breakdown of your mixed breed than you will with Wisdom Panel. Thank you guys for watching this video and let us know in the comments if you have any questions or if you have tried Wisdom Panel or Embark or if you've tried both and what you guys thought about them.